Hi everyone, it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. I've got this Dollar Tree sign that is so pretty. It's love is all you need with a little red truck. And I really love this sign. It's so cute and perfect. So I'm just going to make one of those messy bows. So you just cut little strands of your ribbons usually around the same size and we just keep putting them on top of each other. I have a lot of different Valentine bows. I think Dollar Tree had so many cute Valentine signs. They really did. And you have to catch them at a good time because um, you're not going to always see them. So you might want to grab them when you first see them. Because I got these early on and when I went back to get another one, they were out of them and I never saw them again. So I'm stapling this one together. Gonna add some more. I mean, you can add as much as you want or as little as you want. I just happen to have a lot of Valentine ribbons that are all different, so I'm just trying to use them all. And we'll staple that one together too. Because you can either staple them all together, you can glue them with your glue gun. And then I'm stapling them all together. And then you want to trim off the edges so they're somewhat even. Because some of them might be longer than others. And there it is. I'm just putting it over top of the other bow. Actually, I think I'm going to take the other bow off, maybe. I'm going to try to use my heat tool to see if I can get some of the glue unstuck and then maybe pull it off. There it goes. It's going to finally come off. Okay, I got these little lights from the Dollar Tree, the little heart lights. And these are the little mini ones. I only saw these there once. I went back to try to find some more. I never could find them again. They're the little teeny ones. So I'm going to wrap it around this sign. Isn't that cute? I love it. Look, it's all lit up. Simple, quick, easy. Love it turned out so pretty. Okay, my next one, I took one of the love signs and I took the part off. I painted it red with the chalk paint. This is my second coat. And then in between, I'm heating it up with my heat gun so I can do two coats. Maybe three coats because you can still see the L. There. So that was two coats. And I'm probably going to use some little decorations. I found this for a dollar. Not sure where I found it at. I think it was a Dollar Tree, maybe, or even Dollar General. But it's a little chalkboard and it's got a little holder with chalk in it. It was so cute. So I'm going to glue this to my sign. 
and even though you can see maybe a little bit of the shadow of the L and all, once I fill this in, you won't be able to see any of that. So I like this because you can put the chalkboard on it and you can write whatever you want. I'm taking the Dollar Tree hearts and I'm pulling them apart and I'm just going to use one of them and put it also on the sign with my glue gun. And Dollar Tree had these cute little um, kiss and hug and love stickers. They were made out of felt. And they had some stickers on the back of them and I just glued them anyway because I didn't want them to fall off. They're so cute though. I love the little chalkboard though, because you can change whatever message you want. All right, I have some Dollar Tree little flowers, red flowers. I'm going to glue them on. And I have a pink rose. I'm going to probably glue that one on too. I've got some of the little white flowers too. I have these little red hearts that were um, made out of wood and they have like little sparkles on them. So I put those on there too. And I'm just writing, be mine. You can write whatever you want. I love you. I have some red and white beads. I'm gonna glue those on. That was actually a garland that I got at Walmart from Christmas time. And there you have it. Isn't it cute? I think it turned out great. Love it. How cute that would be to give to one of your friends. Or a co-worker. Or your husband. Or your boyfriend. Or your kids. And there it is again. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, next I have these L-O-V-E. They're made out of foam. And to be honest, I'm not even sure where I got them. But I'm going to sand off all of that glitter. And trust me, it was a lot of glitter. As you can see on the black foam board that I have. It didn't take that long, but it was just so messy. Oh my goodness, it was so messy. Trying to get it all off. This was my last one. I'd already done the L and the V and the E, and then I had a U. So, and then I painted them white with Waverly chalk paint. And it was foam, so that it did soak in really quickly. And so I did two coats, gosh, between my kids and the cat. Glad the dog can't jump on the table. She's pretty big. The cat goes over and drinks water out of the sink. Sorry. Okay, so I'm taking two of your long boards. I'm going to glue them together. And then I'm going to put some popsicle sticks to sort of reinforce it. So it doesn't, like, fall apart. Gives it some structure and sturdiness. So I'm going to just keep doing this all the way down the board. I had used the wood glue 
to put the two boards together and then I put a little of the glue gun in there too. And like I said, now I'm just going to use the popsicle sticks to just give it some sturdiness. Just going to glue the seams again just to make sure that they're sealed. Okay, now I'm going to paint this sign. And this is just Dollar Tree paint. It's the acrylic paint. You know, you see all of it. They have all the different colors like yellow, blue, green, white, red, black, all your primary colors. And they're a dollar a bottle, which is pretty cheap. And if you want to make it into chalk paint, you can also just add some baby powder. I've done that before where I put some in a dish, add some baby powder. And there you have it. The big red board. And now I'm going to add my little painted letters. I'm going to put a lot of glue in the back. It has little stickers, but they weren't sticking very well. So I'm just going to make sure they will stick. So the kitchen is the only place that I can do my crafts because our house is just not set up with a room that I can have for crafts because I do have a lot of kids. And so the kitchen table is where I do it or the kitchen counter. So you'll have to excuse my kitchen. <laughs> but I want to get it done. This is where I can get it done at. Okay, I found this bow material, this ribbon that I had. Um, I had it in my stash. It's a like little flowery, wired sheer ribbon. So I just made a bow. Not a big bow maker, but you can just make a bow. And then I have all these pretty flowers from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put in all these flowers. I'm going to stick them under the bow so you don't really see the stems. You just see the flowers. So I'm just continuing to add flowers. I'm poofing up the bow. 
And then I have these like daisy like flowers. They're pink too. I'm gonna put that in the middle of the bow. Cutting that little piece off the back that makes it stick out too far. And then I made these little ribbons. I think I got that from the Dollar Tree too. I just made little bows out of them. There are those. It's like a satin, really pretty bow. I made a bunch of these that I just stick in some of my flower arrangements. I just take the ribbon, put it around a cardboard, take a piece of ribbon and tie it in the middle. That's how easy it is. I can show you if anybody's interested. You can comment down below and then I can show you in another video. So if you're liking these videos, please subscribe, maybe share with your family and friends, uh, like and hit the notification bell. I would really appreciate it. I really enjoy doing this. It's like my therapy. Because I do have kids and I homeschool, so it's kind of nice. I got glue in my hair. I think I was showing everybody that. Oh, no, I'm showing them my pink because pink matches my my pink flowers so I just kept adding more and more flowers I never have too many flowers that's my daughter she edits all my videos She's like my editor very sweet very helpful I could edit them while I do laundry, while I cook, while I clean, while I'm on the phone with insurance people, making doctor's appointments. So it helps a lot. It's like my right hand. Plus, if anybody wants to buy any of my Cute little crafts, they're very inexpensive. I have a little shop, it's called Coffee, you can see at the end. Oh, look how pretty that turned out, I love it, it's beautiful. Look at those flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. How pretty is that? And then the twine with the little pearls I got at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen those in a while either. I think I got those at Christmas. So I'm gonna tie that around also. But I love that flower arrangement. It turned out so pretty. I'm just going to put that little piece of twine at the bottom just to give it a little extra touch. And then I'll glue it to the back. See, most of the time I have to take my crafts off the table and put it away when we have company or when we eat, when I clean. And there you have it. Isn't that pretty? I think that turned out to be gorgeous. I really love the flowers at the top. But whenever I clean up, I forget where I put everything because I just put it in drawers and I have to bring it all back out again. So maybe one day I'll have a craft room. It's been my dream for years, 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 years. I'm just, maybe one day, we'll see. I'm saying the basement's too cold. It's not finished, so it's like really cold. I'm 
So I'm making a little hanger out of the same little twine with the pearls on it. And it's almost 12 o'clock midnight, so I'm tired doing the voiceover so we can schedule it for tomorrow at 9. And that's why my house is quiet, because half of my tribe has gone to bed. And there's still half of them that are still up, but they're being quiet. So that's a good thing. And after this, I'm going to go to bed. So if you have any comments, please leave them for me. I would enjoy your comments. If you have any suggestions on how I could do things better, I would appreciate that too. Again, I have a little shop called Coffee. It should be, um, there should be a link down below. And there you go. That is so pretty. I love the flowers. I'm a flower person, so I love flowers. Thank you again. So please hit the subscribe button, the like. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please share with your family and friends. And have a blessed night and hopefully a wonderful tomorrow. And just remember, kindness changes everything.